Have you ever wanted to build your own AI powered WhatsApp assistant? Well, today I'm going to show you how to build an AI agent using NAN. The AI agent can respond to text, process audio, and handle media inquiries as well, all without the use of complex code. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So here's what our automation does step by step. Firstly, we have a webhook that listens for new incoming WhatsApp messages. The workflow then determines what type of message it is. If it is a text message, an AI agent will analyze the text and respond immediately. If it is an audio file, the bot will download the audio file to the local disk. It will then go and convert the file to a .mp3. Once the file has been converted to an mp3 file, we'll then send it to a Whisper API to transcribe the video into text. The AI agent will now read the transcription and then respond immediately. All right, let's see this AI bot in action. So I'm going to ask it a number of questions. Hey bot, what is the capital of France? Bonjour, the capital of France is Paris. Awesome. Can you calculate 250 divided by 5? The answer is 50. Correct. All right, let's try something a bit more difficult. Let's see if it can process an audio file. Hey bot, can you give me a motivational quote? Here's one. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Theodore Roosevelt. Awesome. All right, let's try another one. Hey bot, can you please tell me a joke? Here's one. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they'd crack each other up. So as you can see, the AI agent is able to handle a number of different questions. Let's look behind the scenes and see how we can do this 100% for free. So the very first thing we need to do to set up this workflow is to set up a webhook. We can select the webhook node in NAN. And what we're doing here is we get method, we enter a path, and we're actually using the response to the webhook node. The most important thing is to actually take this production URL as we're going to need this to set up our meta developer app. As a side note, because I'm hosting this locally, I've actually set up ngrok, which allows you to create a publicly accessible URL for your workflow. So we'll take the URL and add it to our callback URL here. We'll then have to verify and save our configuration. You'll see here that I've already got it set up, but what we want to make sure is our app is actually subscribed to receive messages. When a new message is sent into WhatsApp, this will then send a message to our webhook, which then can be received in our workflow. You'll notice here that I've got a respond to webhook node here. The reason that I use this is we need to return the hub.challenge token that has been sent from the developer app. So in order for Meta to verify our callback URL, it needs to read that challenge URL here. And that's how we actually go ahead and verify it. Once we've verified that our callback URL is working, we need to generate an access token, and I've already done it, which will be used to set up our WhatsApp credentials. Go into your WhatsApp node, select your credential. So you create a new credential and you simply paste it into there. Now that our webhook has been verified, we create a respond node. And in this respond node, we're going to listen for events. Here you can see that we've got the same path, which is very important. And our response code is 200. The payload from the response node allows us to determine what type of message was received. So whether or not it was text, audio, image, or video. This switch node will then route the message to the correct branch. So you'll see here in our AI agent branch, we've simply set up some instructions that they are a customer service agent and they need to respond to the actual message received. You'll notice that our AI agent is using Olama chat and this is self-hosted. I've simply just added the credentials here and I'm using Llama 3 as the latest model. Once the AI agent has generated a response, we'll use a WhatsApp message send here again, I've added the WhatsApp credentials, resource a message, and our operation is to send. We then get the sender phone number from your developer app, and we'll enter the recipient's phone number here. The message type will be a text, 
and we'll take the AI agent's response and send it to the WhatsApp's channel. In our second branch for audio files, it's a little bit more tricky. The first step is to actually get the ID of the audio file. And the reason that we need to do this is WhatsApp actually saves the audio file as a .ogg, which isn't able to be transcribed by our Whisper API, which is what we use in order to allow our AI agent to understand the audio file and prepare a response that gets sent back to WhatsApp. So now that we've got the media ID, we do a HTTP request to get the URL of the media file. We then save the media file to the Docker container. We have an execute function which finds the file path of where the audio file was saved to. And then we'll use ffmpeg to convert the OGG file to an mp3. This is a library that we've installed onto our Docker container which allows us to run a command in order to convert the OGG file to the mp3 locally. The benefit of this is we can convert the file locally without having to pay for any API calls, so it's all done for free. Once we've converted the file to an MP3, we then use a read files from disk node. This gives us a binary file which we can then send to the Whisper API. With the binary file, we'll post that to our Whisper API. The Whisper API is set up in its own Docker container. So you'll see here that I'm referencing host.docker.internal port 500 forward slash Whisper. And we're sending the MP3 binary file to the API so that it can be transcribed. Once the audio file has been transcribed, we send the text to our AI agent. The AI agent is then set up to be a customer service agent who needs to respond to the message. This AI agent will use a llama, which again is self-hosted. Once the AI agent has generated a response to the audio file, it will go ahead and send a message back to WhatsApp. So there you have it. That's how we set up an AI powered WhatsApp assistant, all 100% locally hosted and for free. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see you later.